Hi everyone, this is Carol Keller, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. I've been working with a paper pumpkin kit called Hello Pumpkin. It's this month's kit um, and if you don't know, paper pumpkin is a kit that you can get in the mail every month and all the supplies that you need to make the um, cards or 3D items or whatever it is are included ink, stamps, everything. The only thing you need is a tape runner or some liquid glue and you're all set and good to go. And I've been having fun with this month's kit so I wanted to uh, work with it again and do another card alternative. The kit this month is for little cracker boxes that you can put candy in for Halloween or Thanksgiving or whatever. But I wanted to do some cards so this is actually the fourth one that I've made. So 550 pieces, and actually these pieces that we're going to be using today are scraps. They're not even meant to be pieces from the kit because what they are is the punch outs from the cracker boxes. So they're just meant to be, you know, recycled. But of course we find a use. I had seen a couple of other demonstrators make flowers with them and I thought, oh my gosh, that looks so cute. I have to try it. So today you're going to see my variation on that. But, I, but one thing that I saw online, like I said, was using those little diamond scraps to make a flower. So this is what we're going to make today. This is my version of the flower. I've seen some where the petals are kind of spread out instead of being overlapping, and that was very cute. But I thought today this is what um, I decided I was going to go for, like I said. So let's get started. As usual, I've got my card base, my Whisper White card base, and um, I actually, after I made the sample the other day, I decided I'm going to add to it. It's a little bit plain, so I'm going to add to it a little bit, and then you can decide which way you like it best, but what I'm going to do is there are leaf stamps, two different ones, very similar but smaller, but similar to the leaves that are in the kit. That's what I'm going to do is just stamp those. This is cinnamon cider paper, and I'm using my cinnamon cider ink just for a little bit of tone-on-tone, -tone fall kind of um, feel to it. I'm going to get out my cinnamon cider. And what I'm going to do is just randomly stamp all over, all over the card, and then leave some room. Whoops, that's kind of in my way. And they don't all have to be going the same way either adds a little more interest and then off the paper too is good and maybe one more over here and a little snippet over here and then I'm gonna take the other one the other leaf and do the same thing and I'm kind of not worrying so much about the middle because I know there's gonna be a big flower there but I think that's pretty good just to give that feel, that autumn feel. So when I finish, you can decide which one you like best. So what I did was lay the little diamond pieces on my glue dots just to make it a little quicker. And I'm gonna do this a little bit differently from the way I did the first time, but I think it's gonna work better. Because what I did was take four of these at a time and overlap them with each other, basically right at the tips. And so I used, and I actually used the glue dots that come with the kit, but I've used them all already. <laughs> so that's why I have these out. And so I overlapped them, all four of them, and then overlapped underneath. But what it did was create a big overlap of glue dot in the middle. And I don't really want that. So I think I'm just going to do them direct onto the card. And then you'll see how it gets filled in. So I did four for the first layer. And then I'm going to do four more, but offset them this way so that they overlap and kind of fill in the empty spaces. All right, so those are the first two rows. And then I did a third row because I wanted to make the flower bigger. And what I did was just kind of sneak it behind again in the spaces. And that just makes it a little larger. 
And because the glue dots are way towards the center, there's plenty of room to, to sneak them in. And because, again, the glue dots are here, it makes it a little more 3D. And in just a minute or so, there you go, you've got a flower. So I added another flower to the center. And again, just with a glue dot. And I kind of offset it to the side so it wouldn't show in the middle, but I don't think it would probably anyway. And then I added some of the little squiggles and I added some leaves because I like to have the colors in threes. So I literally just kind of poke that underneath and then, and the glue dots, using the glue dots with this, they won't show either, which is nice because I've got them again right at the end where I'm going to tuck it in. And we'll put another one up here. And then a leaf over on the other side. And that is our whole flower. Actually, I like this better. It worked out better even than the first one. I like that it's bigger. It takes up more room on the card. I like that. Sneak that in. And then all we need to do is our label. And I think before I do that, I will put my... Um, front right on the card base and that's all set and like I said we just have to do our little tag there so I'm gonna bring this in got that and this time I'm gonna take my Cajun craze ink and again that's the color that actually comes in the kit in a little ink spot because everything is always included everything that you need and I'm using my give thanks stamp that comes in the kit Love the photopolymer because I can see through and I know it's going right where I want it. Gotta love that. And then I attached this with dimensionals to the bottom part of the tag. And then I used glue dots under here since they came with the kit. And actually so do the dimensionals I think. And then, like I said, a couple of glue dots to attach it to the card. And we'll just hide them underneath the tag so nobody will be the wiser. And there we go. Look at that, how quick and easy. Need a little flower for the inside. And there's a little center that comes out. I'm going to grab my take your pick tool, poke that out of there. There we go. And then again, I just attached it with a glue dot. And there you go. And then for the inside, I just put a few flowers. So I'm going to do that. Or even actually what I did this time is I grabbed some leaves and flowers because I thought that would be cute. And again, just putting them on with glue dots. I thought about popping one up with a dimensional and then I decided, nah. And these leaves are really cool because they're split so you can kind of play with them and make them a little more 3D as well. Both of the types are like that. Pop this one up here underneath. And one more flower. And maybe we'll even add one more. We'll move this out a little bit. Look at that. So cute. And then for the envelope, I'm going to do the same thing. But also, I'm going to use one of the little squigglies. I saw another demonstrator do this, and I thought it was a cute idea. Was to take this, which then I need my liquid glue for, or my fine tip. Either one of those would work and just put it on the back as a little decoration and it was really cute. So we'll do that too. I love it, the glue is nice and strong. I just need a little bit here and there and it will adhere nicely to the envelope. All right, and they just did this on the back. 
center it a little bit. Look at that. How cute is that? Such a little detail, but it really helps to finish the card. And then I'm going to take a couple more flowers for the front. Maybe three. And then we'll get one with a leaf. All right. And the one thing I was going to mention earlier that I'll mention now is that there's a flyer in the kit for next month's kit, which is called Joy to the World. I'm going to put that out here too. And this is really cool because it's meant to be a kit that you use to make a card for someone somewhere else, sort of along the lines of a pen pal. And there's a Facebook page. I think I'll do this one first. There's a Facebook page called The Joy of Paper Pumpkin. So that if you're interested in doing that, finding someone to correspond with or just send a card to, then you go to that Facebook page and you can find someone. And I know there are tons of people on there already and from all over the world. And the kit's actually going to come with the, um, look at that, how cute. It's going to come with the sentiments in three languages so not only english but french and german so you literally have a card you could send to someone in france or germany so that's really fun if you're interested in subscribing now is a good time to do it so that's it that is our card for today i hope you liked it thanks so much for joining me today have a great day everyone bye bye